So can you start seeds in cotton balls? The answer is yes. And if that's the only reason why you're watching this video, have a nice day and be sure to tip your waitress. All right, so there's more to this than just whether or not I could do it, because sure, I can do it. You throw seeds onto any absorbent wet surface, put it on a heat mat, the seeds are gonna sprout. So this isn't anything amazing or special, but why I did it is because I was looking for an alternative to, to Rockwell cubes. For those who don't know, they're actually a, um, a wo superheated, woven, almost cotton candy-like rock substance that people use pretty much as a standard for growing in hydroponics. You know, they're easy to use, you buy a bunch of cubes, they're relatively cheap, but they're single use and they don't really break down per se because it's essentially rock. And the environmental impact of making them can be pretty extreme. So they're not ideal. They're easy, they're convenient, but they're not ideal. So I've been trying to find other things to work with. Now I use cotton balls a lot in hydroponics already because I use them as wicks for when I'm inserting new net pots into NFT setups to help the young plant be able to reach the water without the roots getting down there. And I've done videos on that in the past. I'll include links in places. But, you know, is it worth trying to skip over you, the use of the rock wool? For all those reasons I described, it's one less thing to buy. You know, I save the environment. There's a lot of reasons perhaps not to use rock wool. And cotton balls are readily available. You can go to any store, pick up a bunch. They're incredibly cheap. They're made of a natural biodegradable product. So it seems like a good idea to try to use them to start seeds. And as you can see, the roots can get through there pretty easily. They successfully sprout and theoretically I could pull this material, make a little wick, insert it into a net cup and put it directly into my NFT system. So yes, this probably works. Is it ideal? I'm not really sure yet. <laughs> it's still in the experimental stages. One thing I've noticed is that sometimes when these seeds sprout, these are all just like various kinds of kale, so just leafy greens. Some of the plants have sprouted and the leaves have looked very sickly. They've looked very yellow, very bleached. And I use that word specifically because unfortunately with a lot of cotton balls, if you're not careful, they are made white due to bleaching. So either chlorine or hydrogen peroxide at the very least. So they've gone through some kind of process to make them look as clean and as perfect as possible. You can see a little root. And I can understand that from a consumer point of view, you wouldn't want a bunch of nasty looking cotton balls since these things are we're trusting to put in our eyes and our nose and our mouth and who knows where else. So I understand why they want to do it but it may be having an effect on the plants themselves and it may affect their ability to grow properly and have a happy little plant life. So probably if you want to get serious about starting seeds and cotton balls, I would go for really, really hippie organic cotton balls that are, of course, 100% cotton, that's a given, and that, that are 100% cotton and that don't aren't bleached with any particular harmful chemicals because I think that may be a part of the problem. As you can see, I did have a great germination rate. Now, in all fairness, these are older seeds. But uh, yeah, so I'm not saying this is the best method. It was a fun to try. It definitely looks like a good alternative to rock wool. Like I said, I can pop this right in the system and it probably wouldn't be a big deal. But I think next time around, I would go for hippie cotton balls, cotton balls that definitely don't have any harmful chemicals in them, like the chlorine or the hydrogen peroxide that could be affecting plant growth, be affecting seed germination, and um, just general plant health. Can you uh, sprout seeds on cotton balls? Sure. Are they a good alternative to Rockwell cubes? They could be. I think it's worth a shot if you don't have access to Rockwell or you don't want to spend the money. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll probably be experimenting with this more in the future. So definitely be sure to you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on future updates. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.